Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share Psalm 139, 13-18. For you formed my inward parts. You wove me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the depth of the earth. Your eyes have seen my unformed substance, and in your book were all written the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. How precious also are your thoughts to me, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I should count them, they would outnumber the sand. When I awake, I'm still with you. Psalm 139, 13 to 18. And this, uh, here's my devotional. How precious are your thoughts of me. In this psalm, we hear David declare God's magnificent work of creating man. For you formed me in my inward parts and wove me in my mother's womb is a picture of how God watches every aspect of our being. He made sure that we are wonderfully made and also full of fear and awe of him. When David says that my frame was not hidden from you in verse 15, he declares that God's omniscience and omnipresence, even though how we humans were made in secret inside our mother's womb, it is not hidden from God. God sees all the details of our unformed substance even before we were born. He has written our names in his book of life and considers us his prized possessions. Only God sees us as precious and only those who are in him can we see how he values all of the jewel of his creation. His thoughts are wonderful and his love for us is unfathomable. No wonder Satan does his best to destroy these precious and wonderful thoughts God has for all those whom he loves. He the enemy twists these loving thoughts into lies about our identities. God wants us to never believe such lies because it keeps us in bondage. He wants us to know how much we are loved. That's why he gave us his only son. Reflection. How precious are your thoughts of God? Is it as valuable as he thinks of you? It didn't used to be, but when I became born again, he gave me that hunger to know him, that hunger to think only his thoughts and to dismiss lies and dismiss all the things that are from the world, all the things that are not truth. So um, I think it should be valuable for all, for all Christians, for all true Christians, because when we do not know God's thoughts, we do not know how to live our lives. We do not know how to shine for Him. We do not know how to detect lies. And we do not know how to expose darkness. So I encourage you to dwell on how precious God's thoughts of you are. So that you will never believe any lies that the enemy tells you about who you are in Christ. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for you. God loves you so much and so do I.